What's up, guys? I thought I'd share with you my uh, dinner for this evening here. I'm going to put some ground turkey chili, and I'm going to do it the simple way, you know. So, basically, I'm just going to start off with, um, this is a cut up turkey meat. And, of course, everything has already been, you know, prepared as far as cleaning and rinsing it off with the, the lemon juice and vinegar there. So, I'm just going to put a bit of turkey bacon in my pot here for my beans and also some over here for the actual ground turkey as well. I just want some flavor. That's it. And so, you know, as they always say, some people think that healthy food is not flavorful, but I tell you what, just keep it simple. Oh, we definitely know how to flavor some food up. So I'm just going to let that marinate just a little bit there. So I've got a pot for my beans here, my red kidney beans, and for my ground, lean ground turkey at that. So what I'm also going to do, I'm going to add my seasoning for the ground turkey. And this is Nipton um, seasoning. It's actually onion roasted and garlic. So it already has, um, you know, your onion flavor and your garlic flavors in there. A little bit of pepper flavor as well. So that's why I say I'm cooking mine very simple. So I don't have to cut up a whole bunch of onions and peppers, okay? But see, I got to be careful with this dish because, like this seasoning, it has about uh, 740 milligrams per one-third of the pouch. So I got to be careful with my sodium intake here, guys. So I'm just going to be able to put a little bit of this sodium um, seasoning in here. Again, we just want some flavor. All right, we're just gonna put it in for the, uh, the ground turkey. So you see, I just put a, a little bit in there. And I'm gonna turn my aisle down here a little bit, for both, okay? Now, and in addition to that, I have some onion powder here. And instead of boiling my beans in water, I'm actually gonna boil it in some chicken broth, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little bit of chicken broth in here. And again, we're just looking for a flavor. And just because I know this has a little bit more sodium in it, chicken broth, I'm going to put a little bit of water in my pot. All right, we're just going to dilute that a little bit. All right, so we're going to get that to a boil here. And my, I'm just going to go ahead and add my new ground turkey here. And that's already been previously, uh, Clean there. I'm gonna make me some chili. So we got grease popping all over the stove here. All right. So we definitely know we got some flavor going on here. I'm just gonna let that kind of cook on its own there a little bit. And turn the aisle back up to probably medium a little bit. And in the meantime, as my mom always told me, you need to keep your stove clean while you clean it, Tracy. There we go. All right. And we're going to get that to grow in there. And so in addition to the season, I got my chili powder here. And again, guys, I got to be careful with the the sodium content here because this packet here has 380 milligrams per one fourth of the package. Okay, so again, I just got to be careful with that. And then, of course, we're going to use our tomato sauce here. Again, this has 250 milligrams per one fourth cup. So we just got to be mindful of the sodium intake and not to add in additional uh, sodium uh, with this dish here. Okay. So we got that brewing up there. Can y'all smell that? It smells good. <laughs> Let me turn this up just a little bit more. All right. So I'm just waiting for my chicken broth to come to a boil here. And we're gonna add the beans. So we're gonna let that come to a boil. And we're going to let the, uh, the ground turkey kind of simmer a little bit. 
and then we'll be back um, until those items come to a goal. Okay? All right, guys. So my um, round turkey here is definitely um, on its way to just being done here. And remember, again, we want to watch the sodium content. So how do you monitor the sodium intake? By taste, right? So I am a stickler for tasting my food um, while I'm cooking to make sure it's not salty. So I'm just going to take a little sample here of the uh, turkey here. Um, perfect. Not salty. So I don't need to add any more seasoning aside from what's coming from uh, the beans here that I'm going to add over there to the, um, the ground turkey there. So we're going to let that continue to boil, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, my, um, my beans have come to a boil. And again, I'm going to use the taste test to make sure it's not too salty. Make sure these two go hand in hand here. So I'm not going to cook the beans all the way because I want to combine the two and let it simmer in that, that tomato sauce a little bit, right? So perfect. I mean, you have to cook it to your taste liking, but I don't like too much that whole salty taste. And this is just perfect. So adding that water. And just be mindful of my uh, measurements there, um, of the seasonings there. Definitely um, hasn't made my food uh, a little salty there. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get my pot prepared to combine all of this together. And um, I just have a larger pot here. And we're just going to combine all of this together so we can kind of simmer on its own there, okay? All right. So I'm going to transfer my meat here first. You can see. And I'm just going to combine that together. All right. Then I'm going to combine my beans in there. See that? Nice and pretty, right? I'll add a little bit of that in there. A lot. And we're going to put this on the aisle here. And then I'm going to add my tomato sauce here. Just to kind of give it a little thickness there. And then I'm going to add my chili um, powder here. So again, got to be mindful of the sodium here. This is 380 per one fourth cup. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in there. About a fourth cup of cup there. I like a little spiciness. So we're just going to stir that all up together, guys. And I'm just going to let this simmer for probably a good half hour just to make sure uh, it's nice and flavorful and the beans are done, okay? So once that um, gets done, then I'll come back and I'll share with you the final product, all right? So stay tuned. Guys, I want to show you some more little additive seasoning I'm putting in here just to kind of balance out the whole chili taste. So um, I'm going to add just a drop of honey in this just to give it a little even taste there um, to balance out that whole um, tangy taste you get from chili. All right. So again, I like my food a little spicy. So that uh, chili seasoning pack I used, it wasn't that spicy. You know, I did my little taste test. So I'm just going to add a little bit more pepper to it, um, grounded pepper here, of course. All right, just going to stir that in, and the consistency looks really good. All right, so I'm going to use my little taste test, okay? Oh. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So, guys, I'm going to let this simmer, let it thicken up a little bit, and I'll be back with you with the final result. All right, guys, I'm back, and it has the food simmering for some time now, and it's still simmering. And this is my end product here, my turkey chili here. Oh, I can't wait to get into this. And along with it, I'm just going to have a few saltine, unsalted saltine crackers with it, okay? So that's my dinner for tonight, and I am going to enjoy, and this probably would last me for about three days, so I already got three days worth of lunch and or dinner to eat, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed that little just keep it simple um, 
preparation of uh, simple turkey chili and um, enjoy eating it. And remember, consistent, healthy eating plus exercise equals your life. So just keep it simple.